if this is not our latest video then a new video card will show up in the screen click on it to watch our latest video otherwise let us continue with this video so you have applied at UCT and they have sent you an acknowledgement email and saying thank you for applying as you can see and in this email they send you directions of what you need to do after applying also direction to pay an application fee if you want to know how to pay an application fee here is a video on the screen and they also gave you uh, your username which is here and your password which is here don't worry this is just fabricated information and but it is a true presentation of how the username should look like from UCT and your password because sometimes you might not even know what is your username and your password so your username is usually some combination of letters and numbers your password is combination of letters and numbers it's it's even longer on your first login they provide a link as well this link you can just click it student self-service and all links are in the description section for your use if you want to use the links and let us wait for the portal to load and finish and now the UCT portal has opened. You need to manage your password because they say before your first login, manage your password. You might find out that the password that you you are use that they gave you, it's not something that you can remember. It can make it hard for you. You would always need to copy and paste. So you might want to change your password and manage it so now how do you do that you do not change it you don't sign in you come here and click this link and the link should open a new page. here you are at the page where you can manage your password if you have forgotten your password you can just click on resetting a pa you can click on forgot password and follow the steps to reset your password we will create on how to request the password so now your username is there in your email that they sent to you just copy it remember these are fabricated results it's not real information and now you will use your correct information this is something that we use for display so that you can see how it looks without distracting you with uh, blurry filters so guys you can just click on sign in of course these are not real so we're gonna use we're gonna swap this with the real login details so that you can see what what is next actually so you will click on sign in so when you are logged inside here you will see the the username that which we have fabricated so you can just come and click on change password and what you will see here is they ask you to enter your new password that you want to change to and you can enter the new password that the password should add should be 14 characters long you can use numbers you might use special characters you may not use a password you have used previously should not contain identifiable information should not
contain your names in there so let us create a password so still red showing that the password does not yet meet the criteria so type a password now when your password has met all the criteria i will say the password is strong is strong and it, it checks that yes new password accepted please click change password so now you can just click go ahead and change password and then the website will process the new password wait on it and it should be complete and then it says your password has been changed com successfully now you can click on continue and then you have managed to change the password thank you guys for watching this video please like share comment and recommend this video to your friends and consider subscribing you guys thank you guys